This is the West Wales Adverse Drug Reaction Profile. Adverse drug reactions accounted for 4% of UK hospital bed capacity and 6.5% of admissions in 2004. Ten years later, they account for up to 8% of unplanned hospital admissions at a cost of around 1 to 2.5 billion annually. Adverse drug reactions are a public health problem. They cost around £335 per patient and with a new profile, we could save over £2,000 for every 10 patients monitored by their nurses. The new ADR profile helps people balance benefits and harms of long-term medicines. Healthcare professionals will no longer need to memorise all possible adverse drug reactions and it will help to detect possible side effects of mental health medicines. There are four main sections. Section 1 looks at vital signs which should be completed with the service user. The nurse will measure all items on the form. Section 2 is for the observation of patients. The nurse will observe the service user during routine care and when completing the profile for problems with posture, movement and some more subtle adverse effects. Section 3 is for reports of potential problems. The nurse will ask the service user or carers some questions related to the body's systems. Section 4 is for health promotion. The nurse will check aspects of general health that can be affected by mental health medicines. For example, diet, skin protection and medicines management. Following these, there are further sections including an optional diet diary, medication list, a medical history, laboratory tests, service users' views and finally care and action plans. Anything circled yes or worse should be reported to the prescriber and addressed in the care and action plan at the end of the profile. Please consider whether any problems identified might be due to or exacerbated by prescribed medicines. The medicines in this profile are antipsychotics, antidepressants, antiepileptics, mood stabilizers, anxiolytics and hypnotics. When completed, pass to or share with pharmacist or prescriber. The action and notes column is for elaboration on each item if required. For example, to record if the problem has been passed to the prescriber or has been addressed in the care plan. The care and action plan section should be written as a collaboration between the nurse and service user. There are also guidelines included to help if you are unsure about a symptom or which action to take and possible causes to consider. Drug interactions are also considered. Here is the medication chain without pharmacists. As you can see, it starts with compliance from patients, medicine administration from nurses and prescription from doctors. You can also see how the profile allows it to work back to the patient from the prescribers and doctors, as professionals act on the information collected on the profile. Here it is with pharmacists. As you can see, it starts with compliance from patients, medicine administration from nurses, dispensing and reviewing from pharmacists and prescription from doctors. Again, you can see how the profile collects information which prescribers use to get the best possible medicines and doses for each patient. For further information, please visit www.swansea.ac.uk forward slash WWADR.